Jesus asked, which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of the robbers? He said, the one who showed him mercy. Jesus said to him, go and do likewise. Amen. This familiar story of the Good Samaritan in Luke's Gospel makes a clear case for health care for all. Yes. Jesus reminds us what it means to love our neighbor. It means we stop and assist in a caring manner that nurtures the neighbor back to health and wholeness. Persons in need are not to be passed by, nor are they to be left abandoned and ignored by the side of the road. Yes. Those who would be caring neighbors cannot rest until proper care and services have been obtained for the ones in need. Past policies and resolutions affirmed by both the General Synod of the United Church of Christ and the General Assembly of the Christian Church Disciples of Christ have called for affordable quality health care for all. Both denominations continue to speak prophetically that health and health care are moral imperatives. Both of our churches and denominations believe that we must serve God's intent for humankind by extensions of Jesus' ministry in the world. Yeah. All parts of creation deserve to be whole and to be healed when broken, injured, or sick. All persons, regardless of race, ethnic origin, age, gender, religion, sexual orientation, disability, income, legal status, health status, or geographical location deserve to be tenderly touched by concerned healers. We continue to applaud the passage of the Affordable Health Care Act as a step in the right direction to extend health care coverage to over 30 million people. It has already provided valuable benefits and we applaud that. To name a few, 2.5 million young adults through the age of 26 now have gained coverage. 54 million Americans with private insurance had their preventative service coverage improved in 2011. Yes. We join with our brothers and sisters of other denominations, 60 other faith organizations who signed an amicus brief in support of the Medicaid expansion of the Affordable Care Act. Yes. The United Church of Christ and the Christian Church Disciples of Christ believe that overturning the law would take away vital protections that Americans already have or are about to gain. Yeah. To those legislators who oppose the law, we would ask the question, what would you put in place to improve health care quality, yeah. expand coverage, or curb the rise of health care costs? We believe that the law itself and the expansion of Medicaid included in the Affordable Health Care Act both speak to the moral and justice imperatives of equal access for all. Finally, the individual responsibility affects us all. Let me conclude by saying to the Supreme Court, do not place a period on health care where God has placed a comma. We implore you to uphold the Affordable Health Care Act and we stand in solidarity to work together to transform this system that is inclusive, accessible, and affordable to everyone. Yeah.